Welcome back to L.A. Noir! On our previous episode, Paul and Roy go to a boxing match. One where the outcome has already been predetermined. But someone hasn't read the script. Link to the episode is in the description. So if you haven't seen it yet, then please click on the link. This television serial of L.A. Noir is brought to you by Wiley Walters Wiener Warehouse. Only the finest locally sourced animal carcasses are used in our wieners. Buy one and find out what's in yours today. Roy and Cole decide to burn off a little steam and attend a local sporting event. More specifically, a bout of boxing. But what only one of our coppers knew was that this fight was rigged. English prize fighter Albert Hammond refused to go down when it was arranged by local gangster Mickey Cohen and instead knocked out his opposite number, resulting in a manhunt spanning across huge swaths of L.A. Hot on the pursuit of Hammond, our dream team struggled to determine who is helping Hammond and who is merely trying to earn a payday from him. Hammond did the sensible thing by betting all the money he was given to take the fall and put it on himself. The gangsters are not happy, however, and even Roy has to fight off the urge to kill a man once he eventually catches up to him. Unexpectedly, however, Cole, feeling sympathy toward his fellow boxer, lets Hammond go scot-free to return to England with his newfound winnings. However, the lieutenant and boss of the vice squad, Lieutenant Archie Cornier, was not very happy with their involvement in this scandal and threatens to demote our dangerous duo. So they have a lot to make up for this week on L.A. Noir! The Naked City. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Okay, he's not messing about today. Let's get out there, Roy. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Well, let's take the fraud Whatever mobile. Kind of look you were going for. Roy is real yeah. slow today, man. Slower than usual, and he's usually pretty bloody slow. Not quite rusty slow, but you know, get in the bloody car, Roy. Right. Oh, nail it. Seem distracted. Hold we recovered on the morphine. A second. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? I don't, I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fine. But if the skipper sees us driving around... Come on, this has got a... a siren on it, man. So we're not even losing anything. Closing one case opens another. <laughs> this fire engine looks like a goddamn really convertible. Going on while we're Look at it, man. wasting our time following this stuff. <laughs> Giant red pimp mobile shows up to put out your burning house. The deal's being done right now. We'll change the face of LA forever. And we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are created. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports a 415. Oh, we even get these still in this. Let's roll right. Identify. Well, wow, these criminals gonna think when this thing rolls up on them. Right, Roy, right, you, you get a hose ready, right? It bloody handles like an airship. The world is materialising right in front of me. And uh, the cars are dematerialising right in front of me. I've noticed that, right? The last couple of recordings. The game's been acting weird since I got the new PC. And I don't know if it's because, like, this game doesn't run well on newer hardware or something. I don't really know. It seemed to run a lot smoother and even loaded faster and everything. 
on my other computer and I'm sorry I'm gonna turn this off it's doing my nothing but yeah is there something to that if any of you guys know anything then uh, please leave me a comment down below and at 5810 Murata Avenue oh wow yeah you know what man uh, I'm glad I stopped to check I was already getting tired and I've only driven from that top left corner I think to where I am now which is down here it's quite hard to bloody see but um no, do you know what, man? Right, oh, well, and the brakes are not great on this. <laughs> okay, hold on. Right. So you drive to this hole? hole? What's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? Mate, we've got a big red truck. What are you talking about, man? Do you complain? How are we going to look getting shot? around in this thing, Cole? <laughs> All units in the vicinity and any central units. Right, I don't know if we're going to the, the side job or the main job. To handle code two. Whatever it is, I, I, I'll let him just decide, I guess. Fine. But if the this is 11K. We'll handle the 415. Again. Where are we? 11 Wait, are we there? Did you drive to the job? Oh, he drove to the side job. I really didn't expect hey, Roger, that. All right, cool. Nice one. Saves me about 25 minutes worth of driving. That's great, Roy. Oh, God. I bet it's a domestic. The police shouldn't have to get involved in this it's probably crap. Rusty. You were dumb enough to marry the guy, sweetheart. Don't come crying to me now. Rusty loves a domestic. I miss Rusty. Fatal punch. Oh, no, no again. Wait, wait, we've seen that guy before. Uh, disturbance. I need to get up there. Lads. Can we, can we talk about this? Oh shit. Oh fuck, is he okay? Go on, get after him. Absolutely no hesitation in mounting that pole there. Alright, wait, is that lights? Is this a movie production? What's going on here? You killed him. You saw what happened. That creep attacked me. I can't watch you go around with drunk losers like that anymore, honey. What are you doing up here with him anyway? You deserve better. He invited me up to. Dudley, I had no idea you felt this way. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, he just... <laughs> you! Get back here! As soon as the law's involved, he's like, Oh, fuck that bitch, I'm out here! We've seen these people before. Oh, shit. Are we just gonna keep the fire engine? Ah, oh, why? Get the fuck out of the driver's seat, Roy! Probably could have actually ran up to the car and arrested him there. Oh, there goes his hat. Can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Funny, similar. Okay, yeah. They're both. Oh, he almost did that front wheelie there. They go for the tiles, right? Go on. Don't be a bitch. Keep it steady. Oh, the tiles, man. He's got to shoot at the back. Is he? Oh, fuck. No. Okay, that's bad. That's not good at all. All right. Shit. I lost a lot of ground. No, 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 no. no. It's going to be a train. Yep. Clear this asshole off the road. To be honest, I'm glad we have this car and not the fire engine because that thing would not have been able to do this. Hey, guy, we're in the middle of a pursuit here. <laughs> guy. Oh, yeah, put on side and they might know I'm coming. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Step on it, huh? Just oh, what? Right, well, he closer. just faced straight through that guy. I was going to end up taking a hit for that there. Ow. I'll charge with the tires. Keep your foot down. Oh, what? No. It's gonna get away. What way did it go? Oh, shit. Oh, we can just see him. Okay. What's happening here? Where's he going? Oh, right. Okay. Oh, this bitch is gonna get hit by a train. I feel it. Oh, there is! Oh! Alright, man. Well, you need to pay for a new paint job for the fucking fraud mobile, mate. 
And also a new pair of pants for Roy because he might have shot his right there. I didn't mean for him to fall. I swear to Christ I didn't. I just wanted to keep him away from Shannon. He was taking advantage of her. He... It's out of my hands, Lynch. Claim self-defense and see if Miss Perry will testify on your behalf. You see me bump into a lot of the same faces around town, do we not? <laughs> There's about 17 criminals in LA, really, but they just are very, very busy. Not fire engine. Although, I'm, you, you can drive, though. You Jesus drive, Cole. What's you wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? <laughs> hey, someone was very kind enough to bring this down to us again, okay? Wait a second. 2.26 p.m. It's been a moiety. Oh, you made homicide. Carl, moving up in the world, aren't you? Good to see you, folks. You two want a hug? Rusty. Oh, shit. Right. I, I was just saying I missed Rusty. I didn't even realize he was going to be here today. Down in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. Carl and Rusty. Fucking hell. Brothers likes to make work. What a dream team. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. No, here, Jesus. here. You're still doing this. one hundred percent that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Chills, please. Right. Big cheese is coming through. Helps. All right, cut a loss. Seem to find you fond one bodies quite often. To be honest, it's kind of fucking weird. Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. That's this right. foam is found at the mouth and Nasty, nostrils mate. in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. All right. Take a closer look at her Bruises head and neck. Bruises on the neck. Neck is bruised pretty badly. It's bruising on the forearms and these. Oh, like it's bite marks. Yeah, what the fuck? Very good. She be bit loads of times with that actual fuck. Very unusual. I'm looking for that goddamn vampire. Could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. It spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surrettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Hmm. A girl like that? Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? I don't know. I don't think you're the man who's having this conversation, Roy. So she ran herself a bath and down some pills, and then she just drifted off. This is all top end of town stuff. So much Gives us somewhere to look. And a front the back. No. Been a modeling assignment. Ah, here we go. It's place to start. The scene. I'm wanking Tuesday. We don't need to know that, mate. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Is that is that cheap clothes? I hear, I hear Americans bring up Sears catalog on TV shit all the time. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> she got a goddamn fucking anaconda on her neck, man. What's going on there? Did she get her head stuck in a pretzel? Did she fall through a Christmas tree? Ah, dirty dishes, the sign of either a murderer or a murdered person. I'm not sure this yet. This doesn't pertain to the case. Uh-huh, more pills, I see. Get out of my way, Roy. Let the real pros get in about it. Looks like barbiturates. Looks like Tic Tacs. There's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. The rest of this shift is gonna be weird. <laughs> oh. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. This has got some mess. Pills in it. Yep. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? Yeah, they're stuck in here. Aha! Take one capsule after our meal. Speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. She sure does love putting pictures of herself up about the place. Like, I get that she's a model, but 
Come on. All right, eh, now I'm here to help. Uh, try and help Julia. They, they might answer some questions, hey, eh, nah. Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. So you don't know about that? Someone then? has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. Who's that? If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was well, Miss Randall, like, depressed or upset or anything like that? No more than normal. No more than normal. Where are you hiding, Miss Reynolds? And I, Julia was obviously a wee bit rattled about something. Must she know? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sleeping pills. Prescribed for troubled sleep and depression. Okay, could be that. Could be that, because she would know about that, surely, because there's just pills all over the gaff. You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? Much in, no. She does look mega shifty. I don't know why you'd be so shifty about the fact that she takes sleeping pills. You know there was something up with her. She was wearing a weird jacket. I'm gonna go with the pills. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pill box, the things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star, a princess. This is a rich benefactor situation, isn't it? Does modeling really pay that well? Aye, this is. Somebody, somebody liked her a bit too much, right? And they were giving her all this cash to live a good life. I can't stand around here all day Shut waiting you're for you. Shut your sitting down, you daft Her face beneath the water. I, I need to do something. I'm pressing. I can't stand around here all what's, day waiting for you. What's happening here? Her face beneath the water. I, I need to do something. Gotta get out of your system. Maybe you, you, you're gone mental. Oh, there she's reset. All right, Miss there we go. Have many friends, is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Well, I mean, you'd see the mess. Surely you'd see the mess. I'm going to say lie for now, but it's probably doubt. But we'll have a look, right? Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. I can't prove that. I can't, can't prove that there was men around here. It's got to be that jacket in it. That jacket's mega weird. The fact that there's just that. Well, it's a men's smoking jacket. It says it right there. Hmm. What do you know about that? Maybe she was into the old men's fashion. Loved a wee smoking jacket. Specifically for England for some reason. I can't oh, stand Jesus around Christ. here all day waiting for you. Her face oh. beneath the water? Oh, we broke it. I, I need to do something. Uh-oh. Who owns that jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Surely he would have been Where relevant. Where we find him? Why have you not Sorry, I, elaborated I on him before? He said he lives in San Francisco. Oh, looks like we're taking a wee trip down south, eh? Down south, innit? Aye. Wait. Hold on. Aye. Down south, I know where things are. What was it like working for Miss Randall, eh? Perfectly fine, officer. That sounded strained, plus it didn't look like he was buying it whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what that face was. <laughs> Immediate rejection. No, you're talking pish. You're hiding something, Mrs. Reynoldson. There's something about her past you don't want to tell me, eh? And how do you come to that conclusion, young man? Because you're being mega shifty. What makes you think I know anything about her past? You're being mega shifty, you weird old fucking bat. Mrs. Reynolds, there's something you're not telling me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. Like me? <laughs> she wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Oh, don't worry, she's going to get it. Oh. The way it's turned out, Sorry. though, is it? Aye, cheers, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. All right, boys. Devon, Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I mean, he's I a know. goddamn bloody coroner. Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. I've met enough polis by this point who don't know how to investigate shit. You seem like you're one of them, Roy. Fucking always doubting the coroner. The coroner always knows. I don't know why no one just give him a badge and a gun and just let him get on with it. He'd probably solve all this shit. 
no time. I should, do you know what? That's what I should do. I should pair up with Carruthers, man. We would rule this town. It's not crossed out. Did we miss something? He usually only has, like, no line through it if, like, you have to come back to it, which we might do later, but sometimes it means you've just missed something. Is the music still on? Wait. What? Is there something in the hallway? Why did the music come on down here? Can we start rattling people's doors, maybe? We'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? All oh, right, I missed that. Oh. I mean, it did say look around outside here, mate. Can you help look around outside considering you're on the job and not on a bloody smoke break? There's a woman lying deep up the stair. Where the fuck's Roy? Right here, take, keep an eye out for Roy. He might be fucking shooting up again or whatever it, he does, whatever it is that he goes and does on his own time. I don't trust that man. Right, hold on. Let's have a wee look about there. Missed stuff in the past that was in the alleyway. Although it's not making the music right now. Maybe in this bin. Maybe he meant outside in the hallway. Oh! We got a hit. That's a bingo! That's where that is, right? Surely, surely it should. Oh, there we go. Up, oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll there be we are. pleased. Took you a good. Well, that's load. hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. You fucking said earlier that you like. Oh, it's just spells that are about the place. All right. Do we take the cop car? or Do we take the fire engine? <laughs> I'll take the cop car. We'll take the cop. Car. You know, fire engine seems. A bit bulky and slow. Hurry up, Roy! Lazy bastard. Get in there! That's right, you better run! Roy. See this, Roy, is there something? What? What? Why? Get get in the car, get dick. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. I'll bring a tear to your eye! With the back of my hand. How would you know? You got promoted so fast, you barely had time to learn their name. Oh, me and Carl are really good pals, I'll have you know, alright? You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case of their life depended on I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing off his lunch. <laughs> that does the scrape. Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood and Highland. Oh, it's actually in our area, so that's good. Officers need help. Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood and Highland officers need help to eliminate progress and transfer. Oh shit, commies. What? what no one warned got? me. Three guys tried to knock the place over and got shot. That guy's gun made of gold? Now they got a half dozen patrons and staff for insurance. Do we know the situation inside? Two inside covering the hostages. Plus this charmer at the front door. We need to do something about him now, sir. He won't negotiate. And he'll kill this poor bastard if we don't put him down. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Shut up! Oh, man, he shot my house. Where would you think you're going? Oh, I got him right away. <laughs> there was probably, probably meant to be a lot more to that there than than that, but all right, cool. Roger on the ambulance, 11K. All units be advised, suspects are down at Hollywood First National at the corner of Hollywood and Island. You know, during my shifts, uh, Carruthers gets very, very busy. Dr. Stolman's practice, 3.12 p.m. Richer, cleaner, and bolder. Cleaner, really? What does that say? Valda. Smoke Vala, the cigarette most doctors prefer. <laughs> oh, I love that they just ran with that shit for like decades. The like the docs were all about like, yo man, you gotta try out these cigarettes. Everyone loves them. They're great for you. Mmm. Taste that tobacco. Right, Roy. I'm gonna do all the talking when we get up here. Right. Just slide into place there. 
Shut up, quick, Odom. Shut up. Oh, I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Okay, okay, well. Ah, uh, we got some moody lighting with the Venetian blinds and everything. Ah, 505, there it is. Oh, no, not, yes, no, sir, just. Your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No. Who's the patient? Who are you? Who are you, pal? Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in pain, you know. Fuck. Dr. Stoneman, we're investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear Aye, that. I bet you are. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about her? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. I mean, she's brewing breed, all right? Fucking, what's it gonna, what, what problems is it gonna cause, eh? Uh, how well did you know, Miss Randall? Very little. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. I mean, he's just got those dead eyes, man. I'm gonna say lie, because I don't, I, that had a date Julia on Julia Randall it. has been your patient well, for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Oh, I do have a prescription from you that has a date on it, so stick that right up your ass, you fucking dick. Your prescriptions contradict that story, dickhead. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Life was too short. And why her. did you give her the Benzedrine prescription, you prick? It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. Mm. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. We believe Miss Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? That is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor, young man. But, uh, doubt that bitch. Benzadrine's addictive, Bob Egg. I'm sure you know that. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you did know her pretty well, eh? I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be it for now, mate. We'll be back in touch with you, though. Roy, did you manage to snag any pills while we were distracted? Wait, hold on. That, 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 that's very bright. That's very bright. I'm going to read this. Hold on. Let me read this. The guy's doing a runner, by the way, Roy. Go and restrain him. I'll look about in the office, right? See if I can, see if I can find us any pills. Listen, listen, listen. Play the game, son. Play the game. Right, Bob Ag, you can go back in now. Who the fuck are you? What are you staring at, you dick? Eh? You got a problem, mate? Ah, you that's right, you go back to that. Back to the funny papers. Right, you can go back in now. Let's get out of here. Out of the shithole here, Roy. This does not sound like a healthy lift. The old boy is lying. It's in here. About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange mm. reaction to have to the death of a young patient. I, it almost sounds like you were doing some thinking there, Roy. Are you alright? First time I've heard them actually come away with, like, a theory when it comes to the case that didn't sound like just dismissive shite. I'm gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him. <laughs> Devastation. Come on, Roy. What's it, radio? You can do some running. Oh, oh, he's picked up the pace. Picked up. Oh. As the water seeps in, smoke rises into a series of muffled explosions. Come on. Oh, oh, he's like, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Get in the car, stop pouting your fucking dick. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Very cynical up there, Roy. Don't know where you get it from, Roy. I don't, I really don't. Shut up, dang it! Oh, we've got the triumphant horns. Yeah, let's get in that car. We're gonna, we're gonna fuck some shit up, right? Let's, let's 
Can now. Yeah. That's the fresh door. Three thirty three p.m. Oh, well, oh, hello. Oh. What can I help you with today? LAPD hen. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? Eh, uh, aye. She's kind of fucking deep. How long did Julia work here as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Are you just hitting me with the was right away? Past tense, that bitch is dead. I get it, you're right, but, you know, usually it takes a second for them to acclimatise to that fact. It's as if you already knew. Ah, did you know? I just, I, I, I just like accusing people just to see their reaction, so fuck it. You aren't as shocked as somebody normally is when they're told about a murder. Is there something about Julia you want to tell me? You're accusing me of lying? How dare you? What basis do you have for this kind of accusation? The fact that you are squirming like a fucking goddamn rat. I mean, what is it I'm disputing here? That she was a beautiful girl? Like, no, nah, that bitch was ugly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what am I meant to say? You know what? I'm going to use intuition. I never use these. Well, ask your community. They always seem to know. Truth? All right. I, fuck, I was going to fuck up there, see? Could you tell us why you let her go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. Is that a, a shite friendship? reason to let someone Actually, go? yes. Or the clientele wanted to pump her instead like of buy shit. I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Nah, you love to very drop well, that. Officer. That bombshell Heather, on them, didn't he? See the reaction. These gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Roy. Just ignore him. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson. Yes, Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. Where is he going with us? She's full of life. <laughs> Wonderful company. Oh, That's a lovely Julie. engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to me. He's on to her right away. Do you mind if I take a closer look? The music just started going all weird and shit. That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Wait, who's, who's Henry? Is that the guy? Like, who's Henry? Did we... Did we know a Henry already? Well, you can't stand around here all day looking vacant. It's embarrassing. Is that not your job? Eh? <laughs> How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Okay, there's a name. There's a name. Um uh, Truth? Henry is your beau. Henry is oh, your no. beau? What? Yes, <laughs> Who talks Henry like that, man? Passion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Oh. See again, that blank vacant stare. I'm going to say what? Julia was kept by this Henderson character. The apartment, the clothes, the jewelry. Was she a call girl? Whoa. How would I know? Whoa, whoa. What evidence is there that says that Julia whoa. is a prostitute? Whoa. Back up a bit here, cool mate. Where's this fucking came from? I can't, I can't go down this line of questioning. This doesn't seem right. I don't think this... <laughs> There's been absolutely nothing that's really suggested that at all. Nah. You're off the hook. For now. Ah, uh, you're off the hook about her being a hooker, you know what I mean? She's on the hook now, but you're off the hook. I'm gonna say doubt. Look, lady, you ah. need to give me something. Do you know anybody who would have cause to harm Julia? No. Really, Mr. Phelps. Julia is my friend. I don't know right. why anyone. But I would learned that she didn't know who he was. She's okay, isn't she? Have I no told her? That's all for now, Miss Swanson. But I still no told ask her. Your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station. It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, you're wait even... a moment. I, well, I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. 
Okay. That's pretty brutal. Eh, uh, do I need to make a call? I think I need to make a call. Phone the Samaritans after that, man. Fucking hell. Messages from the police. Hello, Sexy. Uh, I was just thinking about you earlier on, and you can back up my mind. I was checking some of your photographs. Uh, they in the shower when your ass soapy and your big breasts are just lying there. Uh, I told him he stopped doing that, man. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Oh wow, that almost sounded like a bit of, bit of pride from Roy there. Hollywood receiving hospital. 344 p.m. Alright, Carlos, what's happening? I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Aye. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two <laughs> cigarettes in his jacket pocket. <laughs> wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. <laughs> Listen, no sign of morphine shit. use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. What's this, a I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. Man, this one's moving quick, man. Sure, Mal. No. Thanks for the lead. Shut up, Roy. Yeah. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps and this is Roy. What's happening? Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business and Julia occasionally modeled for me. And why? Come clean with us, Arnett. Was Miss Randall your mistress? Is that how she could afford such a lavish lifestyle? Well, it's That's Florida a ridiculous Henderson allegation. Guy. What are you fucking talking how about? possibly uh, prove that cold. I paid for Julia's things? Hmm, the ring. He did buy. Did he bought the that ring for the other woman, right? Right. Yeah, he did. She said Henry bought me it. Julie was kept by this Henderson character. Like it, we already know. So why is he even asking that? I don't understand why you would ask that at all. Why does it say Mr. Henderson? Like it's really vague. Like, it, like it could, I guess it could be you. The black sapphire ring because that's like a thing he does because he bought. If that's all, Heather's distraught. I probably need to get home. Shut up, Dick. She had that ring and, and you know, that's a kind of connection. It really drew attention to that for some reason. And I'm guessing it's because you are Mr. Henderson. But I don't, I feel Sorry. it's too wafer thin for me to do anything with that just yet. I'm going to say doubt, though. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. No, 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 it wouldn't Extremely be polite, private. would it? Heather won't have to know. Oh. Yes. We had relations. Caught you. Red handy, dickhead. Mrs. Randall's landlady says she was seen an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Henry, I don't like it when people talk shite. She was seen a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. I can't, but do I, do I say that he's living in San Francisco? Does that dispute that he knows who he is, though? No, Miss, Miss Randall's landlady says she was seeing an older man. So it already brings up that conversation that you had with the landlady. Is that what it was? It was the land. I thought it was a maid. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. See, I don't think it's just 
It's simple as saying, no, he lives in San Francisco, yeah, dick. Therefore, you must know. I guess it's probably just doubt again, innit? I'm gonna say doubt. You don't ask, you never find out. Doubt. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Shit. Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Sh was it just San Francisco? Was that all I had to say? Was it? Spill it, bitch! Have I heard that Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? Why would I just bring up a random entertainer, you fucking idiot? I think you're lying. I think Randall was a high-priced hooker. And this Henderson character didn't want it to come You're really going with a hooker angle, aren't you, man? What the fuck? I think LeBlanc and an accomplice bumper off. I think you know who Henderson is, and you're trying to conceal his identity. I think you've been out in the sun too long without your hat. Prove that I know who Henderson is. I can't, man. I don't have anything that fucking connects him. Although, he's doing a lot of talking about him and then this Henderson guy. A lot of that. The guy that we found in the, this in the morgue, he's all burned up and shit, so I couldn't even really tell you if he was, like, an older guy or whatever. But I'm getting the feeling that this guy and the burned up guy are the two people that killed her. But I don't I don't have anything that really tells me that he definitely knew who the other guy was. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. What does that get? Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. That accomplished nothing. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting six. You were in the six Marines? Yes. Eh? I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa, a couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. I'm really taking like Cole's really taking the lead on this one. Roy's just along for the ride. He's in that car at the lights. Oh, okay. Is he alright? <laughs> Is he? He looks a bit shook. Okay, I'm guessing we because we fucked like up that one question. Here. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Another guy faking being in the war. Hold on, take too kindly to that shit. We should fucking film full of morphine. That way you'll know how it felt to be on Okinawa. <laughs> Not a pleasant experience. Needs money and fast. That? He's bouncing, he's getting out of town, man. That's a fat stack. Get in there Who's and find that? out what he want. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Well, if I were losing him yet, he's like right there. What? What are you doing? What? I'm behind a tree! How the fuck do you know? I was behind the tree! Okay, so just after that corner. Which I was gonna hide at that corner, but no, I had to Too do much that. Slack. Right. Now this the oh shit, there he is. What are you doing? Whoa! Oh, he was just looking right at me! <laughs> Why did he turn around so early that time? I can't even hide here. Shut up. Oh, what are you oh. doing? No, what? What? I may hide in this really wide open street where there's no cover. I think he went. Yep, he's around that corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. 
It wasn't that far. It was just a really stupid location to be doing that. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Oh, is that a ring? Wait. Oh my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett what? only got 600 clams. Dearest Beverly, with love and affection always. Okay. Good work, Roy. We're working as a team on this one. That's new. Car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall case. Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Car right then. K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 what? King, go ahead. We're popular today. Car reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was patrolman Fred Wallace, who's working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Gordon and Wilcox. Car 11K, on route. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. I mean, you say that, but maybe it equals a good time. Oh, wait, hey, This hey. car cost me a fortune, you moron. It's not your fucking money anyway, Roy. Shut up. Right, but we'll see the cop that's on the beat first before we go into the station. I don't I feel like... When you go to the station, that's when you've got all the facts, normally. Or at least, like, to confront the, the suspects, you've got all the facts there. But you should have all the facts there. Oh, shit! Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps! Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after this one. Because I don't want our guy to get fucking done in. If Roy gets done in, then I'm okay with that. These guys are quick, man. Holy shit. Hey there. Wait a Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Wallace goes in. Heavy. Throw out the guns. Where are you? Come on. Oh. Even when all you give me to shoot is a foot, I will take the shot. Where are you going? Oh fuck it is. There we go, it shot me in the wrists. Both of them apparently. <laughs> Can't finish the investigation boys, I ain't got no hands. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? No. Oh. Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. And got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. Do you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. Hey, maybe it was Bot Lancaster. He's about... He does that shit. <laughs> You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? Could be. There's two guys that murdered them. A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. Right, here we go. Highwood Police Station. 6.32 p.m. 
caught up with Mal. He's given us the dope on the Blanc. He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer? <laughs> You'd be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we, Roy? Stephon? You've been talking, have you? Finbar? <laughs> Even he's giving it the Finbar part. Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Is the cigarette case on there? No, we're looking for the ring. We're looking for the rings. Not just my the ring that she had, the murder victim, but the other woman. Ah, black sapphire ring. Yep. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Yep. Miss Beverly Evestrom. Right, what about the other ring? The pearl ring. Pearl ring, yep. The engagement ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. Fabergé gold cigarette case. It's here. Yep, Miss Beverly Eastrom. This while under a murder cloud. Maybe the guy's just a fucking idiot. Is there anything else that we saw? Like a shitload of barbiturates or uh, morphine? How about that? 10,000 cigarettes of morphine. Van Cleef? Like Lee Van Cleef? Is this random, like, references to folk? Arpels diamond brooch. See, it didn't immediately go like, okay, you're done, and then move me off of this. So I feel like there's more on here. Tap not away up. <laughs> Until it stops me, right? <laughs> All of this is suspicious, Roy. Seems pill Julie box. wasn't the first ah. Boy society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Okay. Investigate. Investigate Eavesdrop's uh, Eavesdrom residence, okay. A new person of interest, man. This keeps getting bloody bigger and bigger. A dog? What do we need dogs for? Where's the aspirin? What the fuck is this? We're getting a radio play. Now don't get it started. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Mm. Phelps, don't be so touchy. You put him in there with Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. You're a Boonaroo case man, Phelps. You're the best I've ever seen. Oh wow, I've earned Roy's respect. Thanks. That's uh, some deep you shit. To take a compliment, Phelps. He just said thanks, what the fuck do you want? A backhander here for making me feel emotion. A hopped up model, a cat, and a circus freak. Only in LA. Fairy tales of the rich and famous. More like pathetic tales of the desperate to be rich and famous. Junky Goldilocks and the three bears. Arnett, LeBlanc, and Willie. Don't you go putting the pieces together again before they fit, Phelps. Listen to your old pal Rusty. Or should I say Finbar? I wouldn't call him that. <laughs> what do you care? It doesn't sound like you're the top of his Christmas card list. He gives everyone a hard time. That's just how he is. Whatever gets you through the day, Cole. Right, you try to say fit, but old Finbar, old Rusty, doesn't he, doesn't he love and respect me in every way? I mean, he doesn't even show himself respect, so if I get even an ounce of it off of him, then I'm probably doing quite well. But are hearing like a radio play or something. I've never heard one of these go before on this. Like, did they create entire programs for this game, or did they lift old stuff? Oh, fancy drum here. Holy shit, we just teleported right to the door. Nice house. Can he hear us? He's on the grand piano. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. <laughs> Maria, can you get the detective? No hesitation. He's like, give me some of that. I need some of that shit. Right. Can you describe what was stolen for your house? 
It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen. Oh, detective. all right. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Who owns a tiara? Why? $25,000? Guy said 10. Why are you lying about the value, you daft old boot? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Uh, she's in her own house. Why are you wearing those sleeves? What's that all about? You're in the house just chilling. Why are you dressed up like you're about to play a goddamn gig? Maria, I think we'd best get this officer a drink to get him moving. He looks rather gormless. Gormless? I'm, I'm going to take that very Maria, personally. What? I think we'd best get this officer what? a drink to get him moving. Are you alright? He looks rather gormless. <laughs> Says the woman who's speaking without moving. Maria. Stop it! Stop it! Best Cigarette! Get Fuck you, bitch! Oh shit, it's so fucked up and being moving. weird again. He looks rather gormless. Let me get it, alright? Can we go now? We recovered the cigarette case. Oh, from okay, then. <laughs> no one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There. Are you satisfied? Yeah, we know. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. What can you tell us about the burglary, yeah? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. No, I'm here to talk about that. I don't give a fuck about the fact you got your case back, you dumb bitch. I think you know more about this burglary than you were letting on, Mrs. Eustrom. There isn't an insurance claim involved, is there? Are you accusing me of having my own home burgled? How dare you? What possible proof do you have for this scandalous remark? I mean, you just inflated the price of the thing after like five seconds ago. No, I'm gonna go doubt. Sorry. I'm gonna go doubt. My mistake. I always go doubt, don't I? But fuck it. I can ah. sense that you're worried about something, Mrs. Eastrom. I have already received the insurance claim, Detective. Is there any way we could keep the return of these items discreet? Oh, right. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. So she shouldn't even get the, the stuff get back? Touch. Let you know how you can recover. What happens items? if you do get your money, well, but then you get your stuff? I've a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps? That's why you get the drinks in her. Hello, Mother. <laughs> oh. Hello, Detective. Oh. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that Oh, she looks worried. Well, what did you find? She looks worried. A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest <laughs> we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. <laughs> oh, oh, that's absolutely outrageous. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right, it is. For once, we've got a passenger in the car. This is a big bloody case, man. Right, we're not going to do the small talk because we've got a witness in the motor. Whoa! Sorry. Sorry, boys. Hold on, just to shake her up a bit, right? Yeah! What's wrong with you? <laughs> We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging murders. That's my fiancé you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was scurrilous. obviously his partner. Wow. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you, there's there's a very good explanation for all of this. Really? What, what is, is it then? It's sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. Whoops. What are you doing? Hey, I'm just trying to... Uh, intimidation tactics, man. It's all thought out. Yeah, oh, oh. Should I give it a wee clip? Hold on. Just hard bit of the car though, right? Just hard bit. Get a wee... Look where you're going! Oh, I am. I am. I am it! <laughs> Probably end up ruining and failing the whole mission. Because the woman's like, nope, let me out of this car. This man is dangerous. You're damn right about that! Right, no, I'll stop it, I'll stop it, I'll stop it. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'll stop, I'll stop it this time. The music is getting very dramatic. 
feel like we're building towards the epic conclusion to this tale. Right, here we are. Whoops. One last tap. I need to pack. 7.28 p.m. Staples. Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiancé really is. Hold on, can I, can I get into this paper? No. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? We're a Polish dickhead! Well... Isn't this just nice and awkward? Right, well, who says that? Him, you know. What the fuck? What? Oh. Oh no, don't don't go out there, mate. Don't kill him. Call this guy's our case. Go on, Put get your hands out. in the air. Hey, listen, I will kill him if he if he causes me any issues, which she might. Hey, don't murder. Don't murder, right? Don't for a change. Don't murder. Oh, this man's going on a goddamn assault course. Put that plank out with that. What if he does that to me? What if he just turns around and... Oh shit! Okay. He should have, honestly, he should have just turned around and flung the plank of wood off of the building. Uh oh, okay. Ah, oh, Paul! Looks like you got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? Researching this place first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search first. And then we're gonna get some answers out of this dick. Like, who the fuck was the man who smacked me over the head with a 2x4? I think there's nothing here. It does say investigate his apartment, no. Alright, I guess we'll just talk to them. Nice. Take a look through his things. See what else this snake is hiding. What about out here on the balcony? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess not. Screw it. Oh, he's got a rifle up there. Right, screw it, man. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and LeBlanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. We just saw a guy batter you, you daft prick. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? I mean, there's the train ticket, the fact that you're leaving and all that. Mega shifty. Uh, the fact that you clearly stole the cigarette case and also the rings. I know all that. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for six hundred dollars. Yeah, you go get into a case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties, and find out where and when, and then have the guests burgle. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Mm, just put it on to the dead person. It was all their idea. They were the mastermind behind this ring. Look at her on the right, man. She's looking, she's swarming. Motive for Randall murder. You won't let me leave until we finish this, detective. So you'd best get on with it. I was about to, mate. I was about to, all right. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia? I, I wanted to stop. To, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather if she'd have him. Julia told the others that, that they were out. That she was going to create a, a new gang. You're lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Well, because you were doing the burglaries. <laughs> like, I don't know. Why would I need to run? I'm just gonna do the train ticket, because you are running. Have you told her that you're leaving for Mexico the morrow? Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out and she laughed in my face. I 
to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. Oh. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. You just, you just fucked up, boy. Who's Henderson and what's he all about? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Tell me about your first burglary and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. I bet you fucking do. I mean, we do keep a list of these things. <laughs> What's up with our face? <laughs> I'm gonna just pick the list. Don't let me leave until we finish this, Detective. So you'd best get on with it. I'm gonna pick the, the list. Your first burglary oh, was a Dr. Okay. Harold Stoneman. Do you want to explain how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy oh about shit, you. we went straight to that guy. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. Mm, Henry Arnett, the plot you were thickens. under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia. Oh, I, and also for Henderson the murder. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict strikes. Uh, you literally admitted that you you hired them to, to do her, it said, you said. That was your words, man. Was that, that was an admission of the entire thing right there. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? That guy wasn't waiting for anyone, man. Interrogate Dr. Stoneman, Dr. Stoneman's practice. Whoa. What's happening? What was that? I was trying to... Quickly set the set the thing. I think those guys in the middle of the junction there just crashed into each other. Now there's a standoff. I guess the wedding's Out off. The way. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. <laughs> so how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you that. Ah, yeah, close enough. Now let's see what this guy's all about then. I bet he's ran after we came. We, we came to him first. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. Probably morphine. Seems pretty uh, prevalent. Five oh five. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. Oh, that really hot face. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Are you? You don't look it. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? He's just gonna spell it. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. Oh, shit. No, no, she's no, no, she's Governor worry. Meldon. I want to see no one. Not she's not wife, even shocked. Children, she no knew about friend. this. I don't want a lawyer. Just uh oh. No. Get him. Get him away from that, Wendy. Get him away from that window. Get him away from that window. No, 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 no. Sponsored by the brand new breakfast cereal for children, Pure Sugar. 
your sugar contains 1% wheat, 99% sugar, and only trace amounts of crack cocaine. Buy for your kids today! Canadian Family Cereals is not liable for any death caused by our breakfast products. No, 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 <laughs> no, man. What is that? There's something floating. What the fuck? That you didn't see that coming? I saw that coming a mile off, right? Right, you need to talk to her. She knows something. Uh, we just gotta use the phone. Phone up, Carruthers. Uh, sorry, Docs. Uh, it happened like again. <laughs> it happened again, Doc. I'm sorry. I have this effect on people. En route, detective. You have a message. Oh, I got a wee text. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Oh. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. All right, chills. Right. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. We're not gonna. Should at least shut the window, probably, just in case she gets any ideas. You guys are dumb fucks, man. They should have kept him away for the bloody open window. The guy was literally saying he was going insane. And he looked absolutely wrecked with grief. And you're just like, yo, man, I'm gonna cuff you right by this open window. Four stories up. Five stories up. That old boy really fell for that broad. Oh, wow. Good one, Rye. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're what the fuck? Experience. I was weird. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. <laughs> Are you done? Thank God I didn't park there. <laughs> Do you know I parked very close to there, but it moved her car away. <laughs> I've just noticed. I wish I did park there. I'd love it if that was like a an alternate cutscene that like they land on your car and he gets all raging about it. I mean, we only need to go up the street anyway, so it wouldn't have been that big of a problem. He's around here somewhere, a big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. <laughs> Carl getting all annoyed. Carl's been doing some good work, you know? The harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird oh, one. I hear him. He knits as well. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. You don't want him to both on us. Is it coming out of a window? The alleyway. Green jacket. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why did you need to do that? We could have just walked up to him. Oh, fuck. Did he go up? He went up. Of course he did. There's a big sign on this building that looks all epic and shit, so of course they're gonna use this. This guy's gonna get blasted. I'm telling you that right now, this guy ain't making it off of this roof. Oh wait, he went in? Hey, I wish I don't get fucking blasted over the head with a plank of wood again. In fact, I might just shoot him because of that, because he did that to me. And I I'm not all about that at all. Wait, is he still climbing? What the fuck? This guy's quick, by the way, man. Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. Is he on the no sign? No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is. Wait the son of a bitch. Do we? Do we do it? This is too easy, man. This is too easy. What do we do? Is he gonna fire back? What's gonna happen here? What are you doing, guy? <laughs> what is he doing? He's doing a collection of dance moves. <laughs> guy. This is very anticlimactic, I've got to say. Can I get up there? Without killing the guy? No? I don't feel like I'm in any danger whatsoever. I don't think so. 
Like, he's not gonna go anywhere, so I may as well get up there now. How, how do I get up there? Can I not? It doesn't look like I can. Seriously, Roy, you're terrible at this. <laughs> like, we just, that's a no shit. No, I definitely can't get up there, can I? Nah. I don't even know how he got up there. Right, that's enough for you. Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. That's pretty creepy. She really made an impression on me. But she was deep. Well, you had that impact on a lot of them. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Almost aced it, man. I think we did a good job, though. Eh, three? Really? Shall I fast and die junk, sending one man to jail and three to the morgue? Damn right she did. Is it because I did all that vehicle damage? We were. I was kind of trying to rattle the uh, witness for a, a little bit. It seems that Cole and Roy may have earned the trust of their superior once again. We shall seek confirmation next time on 